In this Photoshop tutorial, I want to be showing you how to make a flying spaceship using motion blur in Photoshop. In this Photoshop tutorial, I want to be showing you how to make a flying spaceship and make it look like that it's moving. So in Photoshop, what you can do is there's something called motion blur. So I have a stagnant image. I downloaded this off Envato Elements and it's just a 3D spaceship. And right now it doesn't feel like it's moving. It feels stagnant. So what I want to do is add a motion blur. So I have my layers on the right hand side. I've got my background here that I've already created. I'm just going to leave that there. And I've got my layer one. I'm going to call this rocket ship. And I'm going to press control J to duplicate my layer. So now I've got my layer here as well. And you can see on the right hand, I've got these two layers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of shift my rocket a little bit to the side like this. I can maybe scale it down a little bit. Because I want to have sort of an offset. I don't want to keep it exactly on top of it. But just a bit of an offset makes it look interesting. So I have that image. Now I'm going to go to the, my menu on the top left. I'm going to click filter. Go down to blur. And then go down to motion blur. Once I've done that, you can see it's already added that motion blur. And what it does, it blurs it on an angle. So you can see in my panel, I've got these angles that I can select, right? So I can make it go like 90 degrees, 80 degrees or whatever. But I want to make the angle similar to the position of the rocket, right? So you can see, I'm going to try and aim for that, you know, 20 to 30, maybe 40 angle, just so it's right. So I think, I think 30 will be fine. And you can see I can actually increase it if I want more of that motion, as you can see there. If I decrease it, it will only like blur it a little bit. So I want to sort of bump it up maybe to around, you know, 180 is a bit on the harsh end. Maybe I'll drop it down to like 100 and I think I'll press OK. And then what I'll do, I will start to add a vector mask on this layer. So I'm going to press the vector mask layer on the bottom right on my layers panel. You can see it's like a square with a circle. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to make my foreground black. So you want to make it all the way black. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And then I'm going to press B for the brush tool. You can see my brush preset on the top left is just a normal average default brush. And I'm going to click on my layer panel where the vector mask is on the white square. And I'm going to start to increase the space and start to paint over it. So you can increase and decrease by pressing the square brackets, but I'm going to start to paint over. So it has this effect that it's sort of like fading out. If I want to decrease the opacity, it will sort of make the brush less harsh. So I can actually decrease the opacity maybe 50% and start to paint on top. So it doesn't completely get rid of everything. It sort of just makes it a bit more lighter when I'm painting over it. So I can like paint a bit. As you can see there. And I want to sort of make it rough. So you can see this is what it looks like, that blur layer. And then this is my original layer like that. So if it feels a bit funny, you can always just go through and like paint. And I can press my number keys to actually increase or decrease the opacity. Just a quick shortcut for you guys. And you can see there's a shadow here, so maybe that's not looking too right. So now, now that's looking pretty cool. So if I turn this off, you can see by itself it looks stagnant, it looks boring. But when I add that motion blur, it feels like the rocket is like zooming through and flying past, which is amazing. And if you feel like you need to move it, you can always just click on the layer and sort of move it around. I can like maybe scale it down just to fix it up. So maybe the angle feels a bit off. I'll just play around with that. Um, I can scale it, make it bigger if I want, but I'll leave it because I want it on, right on top there. But just with that simple effect, it makes a big impact and you can make things look like it's flying or moving. And you can also do it with, you know, it doesn't have to be planes or spaceships, but it can be people, it can be animals, it can be anything. So that's how you add some motion blur. It looks super fun, super nice to do, and it makes it look like it's flying through the space-time continuum. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Smash that like button and leave a comment if you feel like you like these type of tutorials. I can do more of them and show you some cool tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Make sure you subscribe for more design content every week. Catch you in the next one. Take it easy.